Welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. I am Tamika coming at you with not an oldie but a goodie video. So if you're new to the channel, I'm just a country Mississippi girl living in North Carolina. Okay, so y'all, this is a Walmart grocery haul, prepping, stock up, grocery haul, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let me just go over a couple things we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show y'all everything that I got from Walmart. Y'all got the video of how scarce things are at Walmart, the bear shares, the gaps, and all that stuff. Um, so I had to go to another Walmart to do this grocery haul out of my city, okay? So I went there. So then we got. The, I'm going to show y'all what I got, and then we're going to go on to the back, and I'm going to put it up. So once I go to the back, y'all will just see me putting everything up. My son is, ha is in class, and y'all know I keep the prepping stuff in his room because he has more space since the girls share a room so i put the stuff in his room so anybody that's new and did not know that so i'll be going back there putting that stuff up and i'm gonna give y'all a little glimpse of my bedroom makeover okay i told y'all i was gonna do it y'all been asking uh when was i gonna do it when i told you we we moved the stuff out of the living room um we had our offices in the living room and i wanted the living room back so we realized that we had more space in our bedroom than we know. So we moved some things around. So I'm going to show y'all how that worked out. Also, if you can see my shirt. Yes, y'all, I'm listening to y'all. So y'all haven't been seeing me on a lot of lives because I've been working on merch. Y'all been asking for it. So we still got to, like, um, um, figure that, that cricket machine out and stuff. But this is one. Say, MGL, hey, honey buns. That's what it says, okay? Um, also, I've been working on my Etsy store. My Etsy store is open, but it only has stickers, and I am doing vases. I have one vase on there that has summer picture on it. Um, so I got to figure out how to share that link. So I'll share that link in the community tab. So keep, out, um, keep an eye out for that. Um, I think it's only letting me share listings, okay? So I'm still figuring that out. I've been trying to figure this sticker stuff out because I told y'all I wanted to do stickers. Um, and I'm doing my own sticker. So I have like maybe like three listings up, okay? So I'll start sharing that on my community tab. Let's see what it oh, I got a P.O. box. I got a P.O. box the other day. So what I think I'm gonna do for now, if you want my P.O. box, then you can email me at Mississippi Girl2021 at gmail.com. Mississippi Girl 2021 at gmail.com. I will put that email in the description box below. Um, also, there's a link to my Facebook group in the description box. You can ask to join that group and then you can send me a message there, a private message there, if you don't want to email me. Okay. Um, and I think that's it for the updates. I've been busy the past couple of days. Okay. Busy, busy, busy. I'll show you how some of the stickers look once we go and look at the bedroom makeover. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. All right, y'all. So here you go what we got going zone right here. So first, I'm just going to go over here and show. I stocked up on some more cans of the chicken breast. This is um, four cans for $6.28 at my Walmart. So I got three cans of that. My kids especially love these sweet potato yams. Um, the Bruce brand. Um, these is like a dollar and nine cents. But these are the only ones they had in the small ones. So I got what they had. Um, over here we got the French style green beans. So I got a 12, ca 12 cans of those. Y'all can see. Got 12 cans of the French style great value green beans. Okay. Um, then I got three boxes of the mashed potatoes. This was like $2 and I want to say 84 cents. Somewhere around there. So I got three boxes of those. I always stock up on bread. I do have bread in the deep freezer. This bread will go in the deep freezer because as long as it's frozen, you can take a loaf out in the morning. It'll be defrost by the afternoon and you can't tell that it was ever frozen, okay? Also, I still have to make my personal bread. Um, I'm going to get that done, y'all. Like I said, I, I stopped doing everything, like the lives and stuff. Um, because I needed to get the merch done. Okay, and so I got that by, by situated. That's kind of how I do. When I'm starting on something, I kind of don't stop until I finish it. And I'm only one person. So that is just like, I can't do the lives. I, I've been getting the videos out. But y'all know I normally do a live a couple times a week. 
I've been really, really focused, okay? I've been focused on getting my stuff because I got a lot of creatures that don't want me to do what I got to do. And that just motivated me even more. By the way, thank y'all so much for y'all kind words and encouragement. Y'all, let me just go ahead and say, I ain't worried about no creatures, okay? I ain't worried. Don't, just don't. As long as they don't come straight out and say, Mississippi girl, then we good to go. So, you know, I ain't going to be addressing nothing, okay? Uh, but they can continue on. I'm continuing on because over here we keep on pushing, okay? I ain't doing nothing to nobody. I'm just speaking the truth and doing my thing. And, you know, that is what it is. So that's why y'all having, because I had somebody that's like, um, I hope you ain't stopped doing your lives and stuff like that because of, you know, these these trolls or haters. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let nobody living, breathing, walking on this earth stop me from doing what I got to do. You know, nobody. Ain't nobody but God can stop me. <laughs> and, and life events that's out of my control, okay? So, thank y'all so much. But that is not the case. Your girl been working on y'all merch, okay? Been working on y'all merch. Y'all will see that when I get to the bag. Okay, so now, back to this. So, I got... <laughs> I got... um. They had only these, um, what, seven of the small cans. So I went on and got a 12 um, count, a case of the bigger cans because they are really, really good, y'all. And they don't bother us. Uh, for us having reflux, they don't bother us. So, hey, that's good because we already limited on what we can have. So over here, remember I had bought the, these right here. The last time, they did not bother the kids. Um, and they love them. So these are the Cheetos Mac and Cheese. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine boxes. These was like a little over a dollar. I want to say, no, no, they weren't. They was 96 cents. These was 96 cents. Ain't that crazy? So, because I'm going to tell you, these were a dollar. So they were the same price. That's four dollars. They was like, these was nine, what, 96? Well, they might have been 96 or 99. They wasn't over a dollar. So the thing is, I talk to y'all about processed stuff, processed stuff, processed stuff. That's why you don't see no wieners, no vainas, no all sausage and all that stuff over here. Because we have to eat bland. When we cook our meat, me and the kids' meats be bland, okay? Our vegetables be pretty much bland. Um, anything out the garden be bland. Um, we put plant-based butter in our mashed potatoes and just a little bit of sea salt. So... I don't go and get like the Vienna sausages and stuff like that. Not knocking nobody that do like chilies and so we can't eat that stuff. And if we did, it's a lot of sodium in it. So I try to limit the sodium. So if I get, if I make these for the kids, some mac and cheese, okay, in the box, processed, all that good stuff. Um, and then our meats is bland, our vegetables is bland. We get not, we getting enough sodium, okay. We get enough sodium, but not too much sodium. So. That's because that, I, I want to say that for somebody be like, well, you said don't get processed stuff. Yes, I don't buy the stuff in the cans like the SpaghettiOs and stuff. Like every now and then they have those. Uh, but I don't buy it in the can to like stock up on, stock on. That's why you don't see any canned meat, um, any chilies and stuff like that. As uh, far as the vegetables, I try to get no sodium. But even with those, I'll take them. If I, if I feel like they stay salty, I'll take them and rinse them or either boil them. And then pull the water off of them and then put some more on it. But these right here, sodium is 290 milligrams, 13%. That's not a lot at all for the amount of people that's eating. You know, you're not eating a whole can of that. Y'all get what I'm saying? Okay. So that's why you see stuff like this because if, if it's stuff like this that don't bother the kids, I try to go ahead and get it for them because we already limited on so much stuff. Like they can't have pizza and stuff like that. So we already limited. So this kind of, you know... It gives them a sense of childhood stuff, I guess you could say. So I ended up getting what I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine boxes of those. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of these. I got all of what they had left. Um, so these are quick, special with their lunches, because if y'all new to the channel, my kids is in K-12 homeschool, public homeschool program thingy. So they have classes and different things like that. And this is easier. To grab it and put it with something for lunch. Um, so right here I got a whole case of these mixed vegetable melody. A whole case of those. Um, then I saw these um, cut asparagus. I want to try those. I've never tried those. So I got three cans of those. That was all they had. Um, over here I got 
these seeds and cabbage. We used to eat these and love them. They only had three left. So I got the three cans that they had. I'm probably gonna eat those today. We're gonna we're gonna cook those today. Um, then down here I got a whole case, another case of the cut whole green beans. So I got those. Then right here is more mac and cheese. These are the great value. These was five dollars and ninety six cents for eight cups. Um, and they are just a great value. Like I said, the mac and cheese don't bother them. So hey. I'm good to go with that. We already have to have almond milk and stuff like that. So when we find stuff that we can have that don't give us an issue, then, you know, it's fair game, okay? Um, right here, I got sliced potatoes. This is what they had. So I always try to stock up on sliced potatoes for an emergency. All right, y'all. So also we picked up, so everything that you see right here, okay? Let me just go ahead and say this. Oh, and I got a box of Uno's because you never know. In a, sense of, in a case of an emergency where you are stuck at home, get little things that the family can play or just the kids can play or whatever the case may be that will keep your mind and keep you from being so bored and all that stuff. So I got a, 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 a pack of Uno cards, okay? So everything cost me a hundred and, I'm going to say, $164. For the canned goods and everything like that. And then hubby got the chicken. So then hubby, um, we did another transaction and hubby actually purchased this one. Um, that's why I gave you that price. So then you can see what was uh what the turkey was. The turkey was $23.64. So I told you I have spoke about this. Picking up turkeys when you can, because that's a lot of meat on that bird. Okay? And you can cook it and then you can freeze it. You know, you can cook it and you can freeze it, um, or whatever the case may be. But a lot of you know, a family can eat off of this a lot, okay, with some size. So that's why we're stocking up turkeys while we can, y'all, okay. So that's going to be the end of this. So next, when you see me, you will see me in my son's room putting this stuff away, okay. Okay, y'all. So I wanted to show y'all before I start putting everything up. This is what I have so far okay this is what I have so far before I start putting everything up now I do know about the cardboard boxes because I had people saying that it is not good to have I know that I just haven't gotten around to it I'm gonna have some boards put on these shelves and then I get rid of the cardboard box but like I said I have so much on my plate I just have not gotten around to it so for now Hopefully within the next week or two, I have this situated. But for now, they are in the cardboard boxes, okay? So, yeah, I am well aware of that. But, you know, they this way for now, okay? They this way for now. So, let's go ahead and put up the new stuff. been feeling something for you lately and i am trying so hard to just stay cool oh man i think i might be going crazy cause all i really really want is to be with you and i'm like i'm saying we're just friends but thinking you're my man and baby, if you knew Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm doing just fine But I'm scattered, scattered And I cry when you're not around Because it matters, matters Dreaming of your kisses In the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing But I feel like Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm fine But I'm scattered, we're just friends You were my man Hey, 
I'm just putting it up there to get it out the way because I don't like no clutter in my house and I didn't I didn't want to leave it in the front and all that stuff but we are we are getting there we getting there it makes it feel like it was some couple years back when I was doing the prepping thing y'all and it's so it's so much of a relief to know that if they shut everything down or something were to happen that we have food okay I can my main thing is I can feed my kids you know we're having this we all gonna eat but the main thing is feeding the kids okay so think about that if y'all got kids if you got elderly people um think about that prep and try to look at what you're prepping like you see i have fruits and mainly vegetables and I, that's that makes me be able to buy stuff like this and feel okay with it when it comes to the sodium and stuff because we gotta have sodium okay you gotta have sodium Live. but I'm when I say that I, I ain't buying any of the processed meats and all that type of stuff um because I want to be healthy as possible that's why you see I have all the chicken breasts and if y'all notice I was looking at the dates because I was going to put them up there like rotate like put the newest at the bottom or to the back and the, the ones I got a couple weeks ago at the top but they all have the same expiration date so they all have the same expiration date so that's why I did not do it that's why I was checking the bottom of the cans and stuff um most of my stuff goes my can goes goes out to 2024 2024 okay so i got a while on those things so yeah y'all um and this is what our water is looking like and y'all so if you've been following me y'all know what's in these stuff out of vacuum sealed so we good to go so let's go ahead and go in the bedroom because my camera is about to die let's go into the bedroom so i can show y'all what i did to my room okay I had to come back real quick, y'all, because I came to get my small tripod and realized these was on the bed. Y'all didn't see me put these up, so I'm just going to set these here real quick like so. 
before this camera die. <laughs> These up here. Hand me the rest of those. That's why y'all didn't see them <laughs> when I did the overview. Because I forgot. Alright. Alright, y'all. So this is my bedroom. <laughs> and there goes summer. <laughs> there goes summer. So I have the bathroom in here. But my carpet is that carpet that when you roll back and forth, it goes different shades of brown. So just want to let y'all know that. Um, but it do needs to be vacuumed. So I need to vacuum my room out. Um, but this is the way it looks. So my bed stayed the same. But I did have this dresser on that wall. And this dresser was on this wall. And that's the way it was. And so I moved into this house in 2016. And never looked out that window once this dresser, because this dresser, as you can see, has a big mirror on it. So we put the TV here on top of that. I can go in the bathroom or in my closet and look at a mirror, okay, if I need to look at a mirror. Um, and then we took his dresser and put it over here. So now they beside each other, okay. That opened up this room. I have my desk area over there. This is the bed. Um, and then this is his area over here. You see, we got the cricket going, got the easy press. He got his monitor up. Yeah, I like it. Let me show y'all something, though. One thing, and I have my little bins down there for my little stuff. So, let me go ahead and show y'all something. I'm going to draw this window up, okay? This is what, this is the view I have that I did not pay attention to. Y'all can see? It's part of my garden. See how it makes it look up high? This is not this is a one story home. But it's all it's leveled like to where I was telling y'all it make you look like you high. So you high up looking down and I love it. So I raise this blind up um every morning now. <laughs> I am loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I can sit here, do my work. That's my computer. And I have my stuff right here, my printer, my laminated machine, and you know, I love it. I love it. And you see how it just opened this room up, okay? I have my refrigerator right here. And I love pillows, y'all. That's why I got a thousand pillows on my bed. And I love the little throws and stuff like that. So, this is my area. And I love it so much. I love it so much. So, let me show y'all what I've been working on when it comes to stickers. And y'all tell me, um, I'm going to have to put, I'm going to be posting the links today. So, the, and I'm not no big production company, okay? These are just fun little stickers that I cut out the best way I can. They are laminated stickers. So, um, they are laminated stickers. So, see that? Um, I have different ones. So, I'm trying to put them at, like assorted, like that's a sticker. And all these I made. Look at that. We got a sticker of summer. <laughs> and I made this little vase with summer. It ain't perfect, but it's decent. You know, and my, my little Etsy store is all fun and fashion sense, okay? So, yeah. Little stuff. That's why my price is going to be low, okay? So, yeah. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. I've been working on that stuff, okay? Alright y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope it was motivational to y'all. I hope it helps somebody out. Um, go and stock up. You know, grow your own food. Stock up as much as you can. It is very important that we do that, okay? Things is looking scarce. I've put videos up. Just one yesterday of Walmart. I had to go to another city to get those things that y'all saw. I have a Sam's Club haul that's coming. I ordered my stuff this morning. And I pick it up this evening. Um, well, after two o'clock, I think it's between two and three. So I went on and ordered it because y'all, this 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 pandemic is 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 crazy. It's it's serious. They um these kids is coming up getting sick now left and right. Well, last year it wasn't affecting the kids so much. It was, but not so much. Now a lot of kids is getting sick. You don't know what these schools is gonna do. It's not to make nobody panic. It's to make you think. Okay, some a lot of people think that it's it, it, it's spreading fear to people. No, look at what's going on. Get you some seeds. 
um, sword you a fall garden. It's fall crop times now for a lot of areas. So start you some seeds for fall garden and stock up on things you can. Be mindful of the type of stuff you you stock up on. Um, and somebody commented and said um, something about how I tell people don't get a lot of processed stuff. And that if you're real skinny, you you may need to do that. No, no, no. Size size has something to do with it, but it don't. You can be skinny and still deal with diabetes and high blood pressure. You know, you can be. So, you know, you, you still want to try to eat healthy as much as possible, okay? Just because you're skinny, some is healthy and some people are not healthy, you know? And so, they... They it, it don't it don't matter. You still should try to look at what you and be mindful of what you put inside your body. Um, me and my kids just suffer from GERD, which is a form a, a, a bad form of acid reflux. I don't want to try to cause no other problem. Things can happen out of our control, but some things we can counter control and help out, and that is what we put in our mouth. So that person said that you know, um. I guess not telling people that was not a good idea or something. Yes, it is. You don't want to sit there and stock up on Twinkies and all this stuff. Salty, salty things. Processed. Like like the, the mac and cheese stuff we got, it, it's not half near the amount of sodium that's in Vienna sausages and all sausages and all that stuff. Them cans of Hormel chilies and all that them, them, um, some people, um, and I'm not knocking nobody that does it. I'm just giving you a little bit of advice. Them hungry man, I saw people stocking up on hungry mans and said it was they prepping stuff. That stuff is very, is, it has a lot of sodium in it, a lot of sodium in it, okay? So please be careful with that. So I'm going to just go ahead and end it right here. This, this battery is just, just, is, I got to put my camera battery up. But, um. I will see y'all in the next video if it's God's will. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all be safe. Stock up. And if it's God's will, I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, y'all. Happy prepping. Bye.